you guys seen these up close? These look great. So these are the 20 inch all terrains and these are the 21 inch all season. Low rolling resistance tires. Isn't that lovely? It's one of my favorite parts of the design. Awesome. This is a mix of engineers, manufacturer engineering, manufacturing ops, technicians, and, and we're all together working through building these cars. See a skateboard being assembled down there just a few minutes prior. I think you guys caught it earlier here. We assembled the battery underneath, uh, the front rear subframes, the drivetrain. You can see we're now laying in elements on the, on the skateboard on top. We can walk down and take a look. And essentially what, what you see is manufacturing engineers, manufacturing ops, vehicle engineers, all working together, all these production parts coming together in a production representative process and a production representative orientation. The quality aspect of this is really important. So you see on all the part inspection booths we have around, what we're doing is we're making sure the parts coming in from suppliers are hitting our quality spec as well. It's really important that we do this collectively together. It looks so freaking cool, doesn't it? We've had to find different ways to work to make sure we continue to make progress. And teams are working hard, some from home, some from here. In many areas, the plant on two shifts. As we really ramp up, bring up all the equipment in the facility. And over a very short period of time, essentially over uh, a, a couple of months this fall, this 500,000 square foot room will be filled with our body shop, with robots, with fixtures, or conveyance, general assembly. There's a robot there. You guys want to see it? You can see it's in the same blue as what's going on the truck. So we like the color so much, we decided to paint all of our robots that color. So how many of these things are we gonna have here? About 500. Cool, right? All the parts that come into the facility from suppliers, they come in largely in reusable dunnage. So containers that we can reuse. You know, we take the parts out and we ship the containers back. We're using ocean-based plastics to build them. And because we need thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds of plastic, you know, it basically create like a vacuum cleaner for plastic in the ocean and put them into all of our containers. At their end of life, or if one's damaged, we can recycle it and use it in another container. So it's a really creative process by our packaging and logistics team. The product is the result of you know, thousands of decisions across many different domains coming together. The decisions we're taking need to be really aligned, and, and if they're not, you can feel it as, as a customer, you can feel it in the product. I think everybody's really excited. Everybody wants to build a lot more of them.